Hey everybody on YouTube, Carl Alexander here, and in today's video, I figured I would do some benchmarking. It's been a while since I've done anything with my GTX 960, so I thought it would be interesting to see if any of my CPUs from the last 9 years will bottleneck this card. The GTX 960 2GB version isn't a card I would recommend these days, but sitting between the GTX 1050 and 1050 Ti on Team Green, and the RX 460 and 470 on Team Red, I figured it would be a good look at what kind of bottlenecking you could expect at 1080p from these budget level cards. Now I'm just a regular small time YouTuber, so I don't just have tons of hardware or money to buy it lying around, but I do have 3 CPUs from the last 9 years that in my opinion should represent the sort of performance you can expect from several different CPU generations. The oldest CPU I'll be testing is the AMD Phenom 2 X4 955 Black Edition from 2008. The middle CPU is the AMD FX6350 from 2013, and the most recent is the just released Intel i5-7600K. Now before anyone gets into a flame war, this is not a comparison between Intel and AMD. The 7600K is just the chip I went for this generation, and the AMD chips are the ones I used in the past. I feel like each of these CPUs should give a decent indication of its generation's performance. I tested each system with 8 gigs of RAM at various speeds, the two AMD chips are using DDR3, and the 7600K is using DDR4. Clock rates are all stock to be as fair as possible, as overclocking varies from chip to chip, and could give my water-cooled system an unfair advantage. To test the GTX 960, I went for 1080p, as that seems to be its intended resolution, and mostly high settings, as this is a more budget card that wasn't really designed to be running everything at ultra. I tested 4 games including Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Fallout 4, and The Witcher 3. I felt these games gave a fair look into how the card would perform with CPU heavy games like The Witcher 3 and GPU intensive games like The Shadow of Mordor on each CPU generation. To kick it off we've got Shadow of Mordor and right away we can see each CPU keeps up with the game for the most part. The 6350 and 7600K both hit the GPU bottleneck, with the Phenom only slightly behind with a 7fps difference in average frame rate. Each average is over 60, and the low frame rates all stay above 40, so stuttering would not be an issue with any of these CPUs. Moving on to Rise of the Tomb Raider, we see much of the same. Average frame rates are very close across each CPU, and the FX6350 actually somehow bests the 7600K by a single frame. However, this is within the margin of error, so that's not something to look too hard into. What is interesting is that we start to see some frame pacing issues on the older AMD chips. Both the FX and Phenom have 0.1% lows under 20, which results in some very noticeable stuttering. The 1% frame rates are also lagging behind. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but the older CPUs are showing some bottlenecking. Moving into the more CPU intensive titles, Fallout 4 sees similar averages to the previous titles with the FX and Phenom staying within 9 frames a second of the 7600K. Again we see the 0.1% lows on the Phenom dipping to 15, and though the difference is not as big as it was with the rise of the Tomb Raider, it is measurable and noticeable. However on the flip side stutters are occurring on the 7600K as well. My GPU intensive Fallout 4 run is capping out the 960, showcasing the slight CPU timing differences. And last up we've got the heavy hitter The Witcher 3. This game is known for its ability to beat down on both the CPU and GPU, and these results certainly show it. At medium settings the 960 is able to reach an average of 53 FPS on the 7600K, but that drops significantly to 34 FPS on the Phenom. In averages, the 6350 keeps up with the 7600K, but struggles alongside the Phenom to keep good frame pacing, resulting in some rough 1% and 0.1% low frame rates. The extra CPU power from the 7600K helps keep the 960 more consistently fed with data, though considering the intensive nature of The Witcher 3, the other two CPUs did pretty well considering. So there you go, bottlenecking the GTX 960 2 gig version doesn't seem to be as nearly a big of an issue as I thought it might be. Obviously from the data we can see there are a few issues with frame pacing on the older CPUs, but turning down a few settings would probably mitigate those stutters. I can't definitely say how other budget cards from this generation would perform, but if you're looking at cards like the 1050 Ti or RX 470, I think it's mostly safe to say bottlenecking shouldn't be a deal breaker. There will be some on CPU intensive titles, but mostly it seems it will come in the form of a minor average FPS drop and a few stutters. 
As I said before, I don't have a lot of hardware to mess around with, but if this sort of video was interesting, let me know in the comments and I can try the same type of tests with the GTX 1070. Okay, so I guess that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I think you know what to do. Leave me a comment in the comment section. And as always, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one in the future. I should have another video coming next week, so be sure to stick around for that one. And thanks for watching.